Hey folks, it's Ben. We're here at Ipole Upole in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Kind of detoured over to the truck side of things because they got some Astro vans over here that are cool to look at. That's an interesting fan. I've never seen that before. Here we have an 80s uh, Chevy S10. I'm going to guess it's pre-88 because it's the old emblem. But it's four-wheel drive. And the neat part about this one is it kind of shows exactly how awful these cab corners were. There's nothing there anymore. Even into the bed into these corners that salt and water would just get into and just totally cook them. This one's cool. It's a camper version. So it's got a truck camper loading information. So it's got probably beefier shocks than you'd normally see. Now in this vintage car, we're probably looking at a 2.8. I'm not sure if the 4.3 was out yet. Because we're in carburetor land, holy Moses. And that's a rebuild even. but really looks like a tiny little 2.8 liter. So that was the big engine and really that's all you needed. These trucks, while they were small and way underpowered, um, you know, they did their thing and I can't tell thanks to the gold overspray uh, as to when this thing was built and that's way toast, but there's the Canada stamp. That is a Canadian truck. Um, had shift on the fly, which you never actually really did. Four wheel drive right there. Automatic transmission with column shift. At one time it had column shift whatever gauge package it had, no AC. So wherever you're going, just hope it's not hot. Somebody's also swiped the fender, uh, the uh, speakers out of this thing. Brake, we had uh, on off wipers, so basic, not even delay. First car we've seen today without delay wipers. No power door locks or windows. They're all manual. Wow, that's not broken, that's cool. And the neat thing about these is they would have, and the seat has been destroyed, so I can, uh, maybe, no. Uh, it should have a jump seat hiding over there in the back. Oh, I guess I can just look at the window here. <laughs> have a jump seat sitting back there. And, uh, wow, what's this? Oh, there's the seat. Are these my RPO codes? It's something. It looks like it predates it a little bit. It's got the VIN, so that'll give me the year, and that'll be on that. But uh, interesting. So actually we're looking at probably pre-84. It could be an 83. I don't know if they made them prior to that. It looks like a Grand Prix now. Weird things you find here. Whatever it was, there's the model number. It's gone. Fenders are also toast in the back. But it looks like it had a cool striping. And that was a cool 80s thing. I don't know what's up with the green in the middle. Chevrolet embossed tailgate. And uh, what do we got underneath here? Nothing, spares gone, rear ends there. Leaf springs, of course, that would be typical S10 affair. Uh, per the digits over here, it doesn't say what it is. So, okay, we got that going for us. Looks like we took a hit pretty bad right here, which is why it's in the junkyard. This side here, of course, we don't have third doors on this vintage. Wow, see? I don't know why you're complaining. Heat, of course, is easy to get to. And half the interior. Oh, here's some gauge package. That's neat. Not sure what's going on there. Come on, be my friend. Oh, there it is. So here's a gray center console out of some other car, interestingly enough. Okay, cool. And the shifter for four wheel drive. Will that even go in anymore? Yes, it will. So that's still shifty. That's cool said manual windows trailering mirrors i bet you that's part of the option group uh the glove box which is oh, over there obviously has the rpo codes in it that weren't really codes at the time a little bit of badge left over on this side Ooh, and it's not even a sticker badge it was bolted on so it could help with rusting so there you have it it's a cool little s10 weird bumperette going on there <laughs> may have been one here too but it's long gone steel painted bumper steel uh just regular headlights uh engine vacuum with extra bonus wires maybe they were having hub issues with the hubs locking because in theory they were automatically locking hubs but there's a vacuum module that was connected that would pull and i i'm guessing they might have had some issues with that because they do tend to corrode and this truck obviously knows all about corrosion. Those are cool. 
running lamps, that's upping your game right there, man. So if you have any questions on S10s, I've owned several over the years, usually 2.8s, a couple 4.3s. Ooh, hubcap. You know, a little paint that looks great on and bumper out of something. But if you have any questions, ask them, comments, leave them, subscribe to my channel, Turbo 231 for more stuff. Running boards, which didn't help at all. So anyway, um, you go, oh, 1983, there you go, Chevy truck. Not sure much left to pick on this one. Though the tailgate looks fairly okay. I like the stickers, stickers are hot, those are neat. Hey folks, it's Ben. We're here at IPOUPOL in Edmonton, Alberta. And uh, what we have here, according by the sticker, is a 1993. That'd be last model year for the square body design. S10 pickup. Woo, five speed. Uh, this vehicle here is a two wheel drive. And I'm willing to bet a 2.8 liter. We'll look at the RPO codes here, but we do have rear ABS on it. Uh, two barrel throttle body. And I'm not seeing a whole lot else. So let's take a look and see what we have here. The body is in fairly awful condition. A lot of rust here. Wheel is seized. The bottoms are broken. <laughs> uh, normal truck mirrors. Looks like they damaged it when they were lifting it. But the, the, uh, the moss holders here, they're on the frame. That's just probably okay. Let's take a look on the inside here. Another low option truck. But look at, it's got power lumbar though. Or not power, but... I gotta move that. It's got lumbar attachments, but it's got <clears throat> crank windows, no power door locks. The missing thingy, uh, which would be for headlights and stuff. We're talking 249,000 miles on a 2.8 liter five speed. So, out of boy. Good job. Basic controls here. Are those? Yeah, they're, they're, it's a cable system here. And, and oh, we got RPO codes. Let's grab those while we're here. Hopefully they're in focus enough and I stop shaking that we can grab them so we can talk about that as we go through the car. Uh, there's the surround bezel. That's if you had a Jimmy where the trunk release would be. Undercarriage. Hood release is gone. There's a blinker flasher right there. And there's a clutch for the five speed that is no longer here. Like they pulled the whole transmission. It's see you later alligator. So that's neat. Lamps on the windows, big mirrors, jump seat, cargo net. We'll see that RPO code, dual jump seats. Them apples, huh? Looks like there's a downpipe there where they cut out for the, so that's pretty cool. I like the stripes, black and silver. Always looks good on the square GM cars. Look how deep it is there. You could like bury a body. Fenders are stickered on. Tail light's gone, but that one is anyway. Looks like the lamps are there. The tailgate is here, but not really playing. And there's the clutch that they didn't want, I guess. I put a new one on if you're taking the transmission out. I love the tail lights. The Zest 10s have always had pretty tail lights. Big blister, big spot where the forklift got her. It's again a 93. It says it's blue, but it's obviously black and gray. <laughs> nice floor mats. Hard hat too, if you wanted something not certified. A opening rear on both the cap and the... And then these little guys, the rear windows open up too, just a little bit. So fairly neat truck. Fairly used truck, right? It's lived its happy life. It's moving on. I'm going to cut to another video now of another Blazer. I think it's an 83. No RPO codes on it. Uh, but I uh, didn't really know where to put the video, so we'll tag it on the back of this one. But yeah, that's neat. There's a clutch master cylinder thing that should have been right out of the gate. Hello. Is this thing like in? Yeah, it's in. They pulled the sensor out there though. Probably caught coolant temperature. There's a little baby V6. That's interesting. Anyway, you guys have any questions, but I'll leave that for the other end of the video. Lots of pretend lights.